Did you know the most powerful data analytics isn't actually run within our Oracle Fusion itself? Instead, it's handled by specialized analytics cloud platforms like Oracle Analytics Cloud and Fusion Data Intelligence. Since data analytics is resource heavy, Oracle keeps it separate, letting you run advanced insights without slowing down our Oracle Fusion application. In this episode, I'm excited to show you how to bring Oracle Fusion data into Oracle Analytics Cloud and run powerful visual reports with ease. I'm Siva Koya, an Oracle Ace and Certified Professional. Thank you for tuning into Oracle Cloud ERP channel, the platform where you can learn, grow and master Oracle Cloud ERP. Let's dive right in and see how simple it is to run analytics in Oracle Analytics Cloud. Let me start by giving you some background on Oracle Analytics Cloud. It is more than a reporting tool. It's a complete analytics platform with all bells and whistles that Oracle Fusion lacks out of the box. With machine learning built in, Oracle Analytics Cloud can create visualizations just by understanding your questions in natural language. Once you load the data, Oracle Analytics Cloud automatically generates smart visualizations without any input from you, making your work a lot easier. We will explore these key capabilities one by one in this series of videos. Here is how I laid out this episode. First, I will show you how to access Oracle Analytics Cloud for free using a $300 credit if you are a first time Oracle Cloud user. Next, we will create an analysis report in the Fusion application. This will serve as our data source in Oracle Analytics Cloud. Then. I will guide you through connecting the Fusion application to Oracle Analytics Cloud. And finally, we will build visualizations in Oracle Analytics Cloud step by step. Head over to oracle.com slash cloud and click on try OCI for free. If you are a first time user, just complete the registration process using this link and once you complete the registration you will receive $300 cloud credit. This is more than sufficient to explore Oracle Analytics Cloud. Once you have logged into your free trial or paid OCI account from the main menu go to Analytics and AI. Then click on Analytics Cloud link. Next I will click on Create Instance to set up my Oracle Analytics Cloud instance. Follow me to complete instance setup process. I kept the default settings as they are. Now I am ready to start creating the OAC instance. So I will go ahead and click the create button. As you can see, my instance is just getting created. After a good 15 minutes, my instance is active now. To access the Oracle Analytics Cloud user interface, click on your instance link. Under Instance Details, you will find the URL to launch the user interface. Let's go ahead and click on it. Usually, it takes a second to load. There we go. We will come back to this shortly to create visualizations. But first, let me show you how to prepare the data source in our Fusion application. One way to connect our Oracle Fusion data to Oracle Analytics Cloud is by using an OTBI report. I have already created a step-by-step -step video on how to build one. I will drop the link below if you haven't watched. For this tutorial, we will use that report as our data source. Let me open it and show you how it looks like in our Fusion application. In that episode, we have built this supplier spend OTBI report to capture supplier spend. Let me open it. This OTBI report shows supplier spend by year, month and business unit. 
Now let's load this data into Oracle Analytics Cloud for us to do advanced data analysis. I'm back in the Oracle Analytics Cloud instance we created earlier. To bring in Fusion data, the first step is to create an Oracle Applications connection. Let's set that up. To create a new connection, I will click the Create button on the top right and choose Connection. And then select Connection type as Oracle Applications. Now let's go ahead and fill our Oracle Fusion connection details. After filling our connection details, let's go ahead and save our changes. It will take a few seconds for the save to complete. There we go. Now I received the confirmation message that my connection is successful. Now that Oracle Fusion is connected to Oracle Analytics Cloud, the next step is to create a dataset by selecting an OTBI report from the Fusion connection. To create a dataset, I will click on Create button, then choose Dataset, then I will select the Fusion connection we created earlier. Now I will expand the OTBI report catalog and then navigate to the Supplier Spend report and double click on the report. Let's go ahead and save our dataset by clicking the save button. I will give a name and description to our dataset and click OK. After clicking on the OK button, give it a few seconds for our dataset to save. You will see a confirmation message. After about 10 seconds, I got a confirmation that the dataset was created successfully. The next step is to create a workbook. Workbook can include one or more datasets that we want to visualize. To create a workbook, I will again follow the same process. I will click on the create button, but this time I will select workbook. I will choose the dataset that we created earlier and click on add to workbook. In a workbook, the canvas is the work area where we create visualization. Each canvas can have multiple visualizations and a workbook can include multiple canvases. Let me show you how easy it is to create a visualization in the workbook. Drag a couple of fields here. Oracle Analytics Cloud will automatically create a best visualization for you. Let me show you. First, I will drag business unit name. Then I double clicked on payment amount. Instantly, we can see the consolidated supplier spend across all business units with the help of bar chart that was created automatically for us. That's how easy it is to create a visualization in Oracle Analytics Cloud. I will now go ahead and save my workbook by clicking on the save button. My workbook is saved successfully. To access the workbook, I can navigate to home page. You can see my workbook on the home page. To access my report anytime, all I need to do is click on the workbook. That's it for today, folks. Now you know how to get access to Oracle Analytics Cloud and connect it with Oracle Fusion Cloud and create visualizations step by step in Oracle Analytics Cloud. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to create advanced visualizations in Oracle Analytics Cloud. I put in a lot of effort to bring you valuable content. If you learned something new today, show some love by liking the video and subscribing because plenty more exciting videos are on the way. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.